Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. And as always, it is general, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you, and that's okay. You can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can get a personal reading for more specific information, and the roles can be reversed in general readings. All right, so let's see what is going on with Sagittarius first half of June. What are the overall energies? <clears throat> okay, so we have refocus and the answer is yes. Okay, so if you've been thinking about refocusing your attention um, in a new direction, the answer is definitely yes, or maybe this is your person. So if you feel like they've been refocusing, again, the answer is yes. All right, so take that as it makes sense for you. And we will see what this is about. All right, so Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of June. Alright, so for the situation, oh, starting off the reading, we have the Devil crossed by the Six of Wands. Okay, so it definitely feels like the situation has been quite toxic or there, there has been some kind of an unhealthy attachment maybe. Maybe on your end, maybe on their end, maybe for the both of you. It, it really does depend. It could even be another, another situation here, okay? Maybe for some of you, you're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, here's the thing, I feel like whoever this is, you know, they do have this strong urge to be successful. They want success and I feel like, but it's to the extent where it can actually serve as a barrier and keep them in this pattern, um, <clears throat> which is unhealthy, okay, whatever that is, or if it's not a pattern, it keep keeping them in an unhealthy situation. And it's, I know it just sounds a little um, counterintuitive. Well, if you want success, then why would you stay there? But sometimes it can actually work in that way. So we'll see more when we clarify, but let's see the recent past. We have the 10 of wands, the near future. We have the page of cups. Yeah, so I feel like this is a situation that has actually been going on for a pretty long time. All right, having the 10 of wands here in the recent past. I feel like it's gotten to the, it's already past the point of exhaustion. It's already past that point of, well, you know, if you were going to release this, then you already would have. I'm not saying this for you, <laughs> Sagittarius. I just feel like somebody is feeling that way. Somebody is feeling like if this was going to be released or um, overcome or whatever, that it would have been done so already. It's almost like that kind of a feeling to it. I do see... Some opening up here emotionally in the near future, and it's interesting because I feel like I've been seeing that um, for the other fire signs as well. <clears throat> Let's see, for your energy, we have the Three of Pentacles, for them, the Seven of Pentacles, for you, the Ace of Cups, for them, the Knight of Cups, and potential outcome here, the Empress, and an extra message for you is the King of Wands. Okay, so. You're definitely feeling a lot of love here um, for this person. And I feel like just overall in this connection that it's there. Because I do see them also feeling these emotions for you and wanting to open up more about their emotions to you or about what they've been feeling or about what's been going on. Um, and I do feel like they're taking small steps. So I don't know who it is that is refocusing here. We'll see as this unfolds. Um, but I do feel like they're taking smaller steps than you when it comes to fully um, opening up emotionally. And I, I mean, and I do see you kind of willing to work with them. And it's interesting because there's also this sense of refocus. So it might not even be refocusing away from a connection. It might even be just refocusing away from a certain 
way of interacting, for example. All right, again, we'll, hopefully we'll see when we clarify. Having the Empress as the potential outcome here, that's a lot of, it's coming through to me as self-care. A lot of self-care and really just feeling in control over your own self at, when it comes to this situation and feeling really good about yourself. This, to me, it's also coming through as healing. So I feel like whatever it is that is toxic in this situation, there is going to be some sense of healing to that. And I do see these obstacles um, able to be overcome having the um, King of Wands here as the message for you. Take this also, you know, as, as guidance as well. You know, you can overcome whatever it is that you, that you are wanting to overcome, whatever challenges are being thrown your way. They're being thrown your way for a reason, and that is for you to overcome them because that is going to either make you stronger, help you to learn something, help you to find yourself, really help you to be that empress and to embody that. So let's clarify. Let's see the devil with the six of wands. So we have the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. All right, Saji, what's going on here? Somebody is really overthinking something. Again, like, and I do feel like it's this, um, it's almost like really being, I don't want to say overly confident, but it's, it's, it almost comes off that way, like being overly confident in a way where, where it feels like it is going to be associated with success, but it's not. It's really based in fear. So again, I don't know if this is you or your person. I would think you would know, um, but somebody is really overthinking things here, just thinking about it so much, wanting success, wanting to be successful, wanting to appear successful. And it's not just about appearances, it's actually feeling like, yeah, you know, what is the right thing to do? What is it that is going to make me um, a good person? What is, what is it that's going to make me a responsible person? But because they're overthinking this, it actually has the opposite result. I feel like that is what the issue is here. Uh, let's see the Three of Pentacles for you. The Five of Cups and the Two of Swords. It feels like, you know, from the way you're seeing this is that you're, you're feeling like you can have this interaction with this person. Um, but I, I feel like the interaction that you're having with this person isn't where you would want it to be. And because of that, you're, you're feeling, um, you're either feeling a loss that maybe you lost something that you once had with this person. It's almost as if it feels like you're your connection with this person is now more um, on the surface, like you're, like it's a more friendly kind of a vibe. And maybe you feel like you kind of um, aren't given another choice other than to just support this person, possibly help them, but you're, it's still not, it's, that's not making you happy. I feel like you feel like there's been something lost from the past and I feel like one of the concerns that you have is, you know, whether or not you can get that back. And you don't know if that, if that is possible. 
and because what you really feel for this person is a lot of love you don't want it to just be you know you supporting them as a friend or it just being like you know maybe just working together or just kind of interacting on a more superficial basis let me see the ace of cups all right okay that was like <laughs> way too many cards than i can handle so let's try that again but I almost feel like Spirit is saying, you know, it doesn't really matter. That's, that's just love. You just feel pure love for this person. The Two of Wands and the Tower. Yeah, it's like, it's very, um, it's very triggering to you that you feel like, you know, you kind of have to hold back from really experiencing this love or from even being able to give this love to this person in the way that you feel it almost feeling like your hands are tied and it it's causing you to feel like you know well it feels like this has deteriorated now like can it ever go back to what it was let's see what's going on with them again i mean i feel like you know there is a refocusing that is needed here. And I feel like actually that's guidance, you know, to refocus um, your attention away from, you know, thinking about the past and what it once was and can we go back to that? It's like, yes, the answer is yes, refocus towards the future. And that's why this girl, I don't know if you can see, she's on the force and it's like, you know, she's moving away from us. She's moving away from the current situation and just being open to whatever it is that is in front of her. And that's what this King of Wands is all about also um, in the message for you here. You know, it, it's like saying, don't worry, you know, you can overcome this, whatever, whatever it is. So let's see the Seven of Pentacles for them. Queen of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Empress. What is this person dealing with here? It almost comes across as two different situations. So for some of you, there could definitely be a third party. Because I feel like on the one hand, you know, it's where they feel like this, there's this sense of commitment. There's this sense of where is it that I can have long-term, long-term and stable happiness with, with an empress here, with somebody who I feel is the person that I belong with. And then on the other hand here, we have the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords. Something that is deceitful in some way, but it also feels like there's this sense of, well, this is where I should be. You know, it's like thinking here with the mind. It's the overthinking. It's like, yeah, it's like there's this sense of clarity, but it's trying to think so logically that it becomes deceptive. So it's pretty similar to the main situation that I was talking about. However, with the Seven of Pentacles being here, I do see that little steps are taken in the right direction, but there's still a little bit of this deception going on within this person's own self and that's why these steps feel so slow and that's why there's this <laughs> exhaustion here like that this has been dragging out for so long but there's definitely a sense of somebody here that this person wants which I feel is you especially with the Empress being the last card out which is also a good sign because it does show movement towards you if that is what you want it would be a good sign because I know some of you leave some comments where it's like, you know, you don't even want to be with this person. So 
I don't know. Let's see the Knight of Cups. Okay, so clarifying the Knight of Cups for them, we have the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and Justice. So yeah, I do feel like they're opening up emotionally at least. Not that they haven't done so in the past. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. Um, but I do see see them opening up emotionally at least at, at this point in time or um, coming up because we also have it in the near future. And I do see this communication being attached to a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of... Um, a lot of grief. It feels almost, um, it feels almost contradictory because I feel like, yeah, you know, there's, there's some kind of a balance that this person is going to want to bring forth to this connection or to try to, to balance this out in some way. It's not going to be easy for them, though. It's not going to be easy for them. I feel like they know that, you know, they... That there has been something within their actions that has been some, you know, deceitful on some level. And I feel like they know that, you know, trust has kind of been compromised here, which is why you don't know if things can go back to how they were. And this trust, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, you know, that they were unfaithful or anything like that. It could be, but it doesn't have to be that. It could be, it could be anything, just trust in, in the connection itself. But I do see them wanting to come back And fix things here with justice, wanting to bring about some kind of a balance, wanting to make things right. Let's see the Page of Cups for the near future. So the Ten of Cups, the Star, and the Page of Wands. All right, yeah. So definitely this person is is coming through, opening up emotionally here, as I said. I feel like there might be an apology. There might be some kind of a way to try to make things right. Um, I feel like there's going to be communication concerning happiness and this person letting you know how it is exactly that they feel about you with this Ten of Cups being here. And that this is something that they really want. And that they want to take steps and move in a new direction. Here it is, that refocusing with the Page of Wands. To refocus their energy towards healing. Possibly healing whatever this unhealthy situation is here. And I do see them being genuine about it. Alright, let's see the Empress. What are the final outcome here? Page of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Fool. Okay, wow. I feel like communication is really a key theme here for, for the fire signs this time around. Um, yeah. I, I mean, because again, this does feel like it's, it's communication and new steps, a new direction, a new way of seeing things, and a new way of thinking about things in a way where it's actually going to be more decisive, more determined, in taking a leap of faith towards a new direction here. And I, that could even be the case for the both of you, okay? It could be for you, it could be for them, or maybe the both of you together, but there's definitely a sense of a new direction and a refocusing away from whatever it is that is unhealthy. What, what are these unhealthy reasons for, you know, staying stuck pretty much in a situation and not being able to find healthier ways to go about it.
this is definitely a potential, all right, with the King of Wands is the main message here. I'm not going to clarify that because I just feel like that's the message, you know, this is something that can be overcome. And if you're overthinking about the past and whether things can go back to that, you know, even that can be overcome. If they can, they can, and you will overcome that and you will get to that point. If they can't, for whatever reason, again, this is something that can be overcome because you can be that empress regardless. But like I said, I do see this person willing to take those steps to heal and to refocus their energy away from that toxicity. So, Saji, if this resonated, let's see your final oracle message. All right, and we have the new moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. Yeah, take that as it as it resonates for you. I mean, it's pretty clear. I do feel like this person is um, is contemplating the situation because it has been very toxic and it has gotten to that point where you know it is it's dragged out. It's dragged out for a very very long time. So, yeah, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.